welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new here, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we've got some magic mail. mail. It's magical. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new here, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we've got some magic, magic mail. Yeah. Um, we've got a mystery box from Pixie Dust Apothecary. We have got some uh, pins that we've ordered from Hot Topic and Box Lunch. I have some pin purchases that I made from individual sellers. We're um, super excited. We're in for a good time today. Um, let's start off with the non-mysterious items, mm. which are the pins that we happened to pick up from Box Lunch. Yeah, so this here, it's brand new at Box Lunch. It is the new Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter Tea Party. I just, it just went on the website, I think, like yesterday or the day before, and I saw it and was just pumped, and we just happened to stop by the store today, so I grabbed it real quick, um, before we headed home. Um... A very, another very similar, very quick and new pin, um, quick purchase I saw and was like, nope, yep, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, if you remember us talking about Lightyear, the one thing that we said we really loved from Lightyear, socks, our sweet socks, so cute. I, I just love it. I'm so happy that they put out at least one pin of socks. As you may have heard in other videos, I have a Disney cat collection. And when I saw that there was a new Disney cat, I happened to watch, as I was watching, I was like, I need a pin. Thank you. So what quick. If, if you had a robot collection too, where would you put it? <laughs> the cats. But he's a robot too. I don't know. Where would you put him? I would just have to combine them. I guess I would have to get rid of the robot collection so that it would all make yeah, sense. Yeah, I would just not have a robot collection. Baymax, I mean, that's, that's worth it. Yeah, he's in my sidekicks collection. Wally, there's some good robots. Like, okay, there are some good, ro okay, there are some good robots, but I don't know, I, whew, that, that becomes a existential crisis. It's, I'm in an existential crisis right now. Next up, these are, this is a pin purchase that I made online for myself. That there was one that I made for Derek. I was um, out of town and I got sent a picture and I said, will you order those for me, please? And I was like, heck yeah, because that means I can order this other thing for myself that I wanted. Um, this, I've actually, since it was released in Disneyland Paris, I've been looking at this pin, just thinking about it. Um, and finally the time came. So here we have got the Cheshire Cat and some of those beautiful flowers from the Golden Afternoon. If you remember correctly, this one here is my favorite. That's Iris. Um, I honestly really wanted this pin because of those flowers in the back. I, I also like, I love Disneyland Paris pins. They're always amazing. My dream, one of my grail pins is the um, Disneyland Paris. They have one that is just Iris and it was very limited edition and it's really hard to get and it's really expensive now. Um, but that's one of my grail pins, so this is the closest I can get at the moment. Um, but I love this pin. It's so cute. It's adorable. Yeah. These next two, one goes into a well-established collection that I have. Um, this is another character gift box that I can to I totally forgot about this one mm -hmm. even existed somehow. And we've got here the Hercules one. We've got so many things inside of the box. We've got his sandals, the Her Air Hercs. We've got the um, the, the sipper. Oh, We've it. got his medal. We've got a shield. Hercule. Her huh? Hercule. 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 Thank you. Yes. We've got the um, human poison juice that he drinks as a kid, and that toy of Hercules. The other one goes into a new collection that I recently started. Um, and when I say I recently started it, I think I have a total of two pins in this collection, maybe three. I just can't <coughs> remember. Um, and that is Jafar. Y'all, his artfully evil is so pretty. It's so cool. It revolves mostly around the scarab beetle, but you also can see the lamp um, around and also the snake in the four corners. It is so pretty. Um, I, is that his feather up top? And it's like at the top. Hat? Yep, at the top, you've got the feather with his jewel. 
And you've got his jewels on the sides as well. It's a very well done pin. Thank, if, thank you, Disney. You did a good job. If you're not familiar with the Artfully Evil series, I think it's from last year. I think it's 20. I actually don't know when they yeah. did them. Um, but they're beautiful. We have a couple of them. I have Gaston's, which is really cool. It's in like a golden frame made out of um, antlers. So I also have Frollo, who looks really cool. His is like completely still. Yeah. Just amazing. Um, so if you're not familiar with those and you like villains, you should look into those for sure. We're going to take a small shift away from pins for a moment. Um, if you are not already in the know, you need to, to be in the know <laughs> and know about Pixie Dust Apothecary. Um, they are an amazing company run by Pete and Allie over at Two Tiny Wings, and they make Disney and all of their different franchises um, candles that just are moments from those movies. And wax um, melts. And wax melts as well. So they have a subscription box that is two four ounce candles um, every month and they are a mystery. Um, so we are gonna open that up now. I'm very, very excited. So here's the card. We can't see the candles yet. Um, dear Derek and Ryan, we could think of no better combination for this month than love and thunder. <gasps> Enjoy Pixie Dust of Apothecary Pete. I was literally just talking about how... So let's open it first. Um, if you... I don't know when this video it will be released in order of um, anything, but uh, we saw this movie and I am a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan of Marvel. I'm a huge fan of this movie. Um, here, you can take that. I <laughs> have had... This, this is actually one of my absolute fan, favorite candles. And I was just saying the other day, I need to order another one of God of Thunder. It smells so good. It's almost gone. It's still in the original, like, stickers. Y'all. Oh, my God. You can smell it from... It's one, look at the colors. So this is the Thor candle? This is the Thor candle. Absolutely is. Absolutely is. Um, smell that sucker. Oh. Yeah, so God of Thunder, I know ozone is in there. Um, citrus and ozone. Y'all, this is what Chris Hemsworth smells like. To go oh. along with the Marvel theme? Um, we've got Love You 3000. Um, now, this... Ryan does not know this reference. Yes, um, I do. It's Iron Man. Right? To who? I don't know. To who? Oh. Oh my god. Maybe this is what Chris Hemsworth actually smells like. Alright, so first off, look at that. It's beautiful, it's golden, mostly red. It's a red candle with some gold glitter and a little bit of blue splashed in there. Smell it. I've been scared of buying this one because the word cologne. It does smell like cologne, but I it love it. It does that have a it. scent of cologne, but it's not. I and like that's it. the problem with just words and not being able to like mm -hmm. scent it yourself. Yeah, mahogany, but if that's not a scent you like, that makes yeah, sense. I love the scent of cologne. Mahogany, citrus, and teak. It smells yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely if you're if you're not into cologne smells, this is not for you. I love the smell of man. Yeah, blends the sophisticated nature of a tycoon's cologne with sweet citrus to create a scent worthy yeah. of someone who guards his true selfless tender nature with a suit of iron. What a great combination. They're so different. This is a little sweeter. Man, they are. Oh. Love, Love and thunder. It. Was there a Loki candle at a pop shop live? I can't remember. I don't know. And... I was, oh, yeah, I do. I really, if you, I think she had one at one point. Allie, just let us know down below. Send me a message or something. You know I've got to order some new candles sometime soon anyway. Yeah, it's almost time. Um, but yeah, what a oh, great combination. Thank you, Pete and Allie. If you are not familiar, we have a code, RIDE15. It's right here, 15% off. Take it to their Etsy shop. Take it to their website. It's every single purchase it's yeah. not just your first one use it every time get 15 percent off every time there are so many options on there um it is worth checking out it really like we've never really been disappointed by any of these candles no. we no, and they um, burn so beautifully mm -hmm. they burn a long time they're just 
they're a great, great quality product. We basically burn them all day long, every day. Like yesterday, we while we were eating in the morning, we burned um, man catching beignets because it smelled like brunch. And then at lunch, we or at lunchtime, we switched the candle burning in our Heart house of to, Tafiti. to Heart of Tafiti. Then after, like as we wound down into the evening, we blew that one out. And then the last one we put out was... What do you have? It was Curiouser and Curiouser yes. from Alice in Wonderland. You literally can just sense your whole day. Yeah, it really like carried us through the day. Now the last thing we've got on the docket for you today, we picked up a couple of mystery boxes. Um, none of these are to for a full set. These are to help us complete a set, or maybe we're looking for one or two in the set. Um, so it's just a couple of random ones we're gonna open up today. Um, the first one I'm opening for you, I always wanna call it the princess floral hair, but I think they're called princess hair icons or something like that. Yes. Um, so we have opened these before. I actually, in my last trading spree, had these on my list of things I was in search of. I changed my mind in the process of it, and I took out some of the ones that we had. I don't want this whole set anymore. I don't care that much about it. Um, but I do really like the Ariel one, and I want to open and look at the Ariel one. I think the Cinderella is cute, and I would like to see the Cinderella. Um, I have Belle and Rapunzel already in my collection. Tiana and Mulan I have on now on my trader boards, if you're looking for them, oh, especially if you have Ariel. Um, but I'm opening Ariel. this, hoping it's an Ariel. If Her not, name is Ariel. The name is Eddie. If it's not Ariel, it's gonna go on the trader board, or maybe if it's Cinderella, we'll see. Um, but let's see. Hey, I'll take it. So we've got Cinderella here. Um, it's really cute. I think I might keep this. Yeah, that's really cute. I really like the flowers in her hair and the, the mice. Um, I like the style of animation in her face. I do too. She's This is a really good Cinderella. So, all right, that was a success. I'll take it. Next, we are going to a set that um, we've seen some people open, and we are just not that interested in the whole set. In fact, um, there is only one that I would like in this whole set. Um, these are the Disney Friends as Fruits. <laughs> And I really, 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 really want Baymax. Yeah. I would also not be sad if we open the stitch because he's a chase. So and he'd be a great trader. Or, I mean, um, if he's real cute, we might keep him. We're... I like Winnie the Pooh. Um, I find it strange that it is five Winnie the Pooh characters plus Dumbo, Baymax, and Lilo. That is weird. I, or not Lilo, sorry, Stitch. They should have stuck to Winnie the Pooh or made it a mix of just all kinds yeah. of characters. It's, that is really strange. So we got two of these just to check them out. Recycled boxes too. All right, who do we got here? Well, oh, well they're nice and big and pretty. It is a big pin. Oh, and the funny thing is, it's got recycled on the back too. Oh, it's they like must be they're recycled. all recycled pins. That's cool. So we did get Dumbo and an apple. He's cute. He is cute. We're not going to keep him, but he's cute. Nope. He's going on our trader board. So yeah, so and you, you can always see our trader board by sending us a message on Instagram. Always ready for you. Um, if you're interested in him and you have um, Baymax, let us know. Please. Oh my god, especially because of that. You got two Dumbos. Y'all, I even reached through the thing and picked out one that was not close to it. All right, let us know if you have Baymax. We'll trade you. Um, they're they're very nice pins. They're larger than I ever expected them to be. Um, but they're thick and heavy. They're thick like and town. heavy. We just want Baymax. Yeah. So if you got them, let us know. Let us know, and we'll trade you a Dumbo or something else. If you're looking for Dumbo and you have something else you want to trade us, we have two of them, and we're only looking for Baymax. So. Yeah. Hit us up. We have two pins from this set. We have five of these from this collection already. We are looking for one to complete it. I have still not found anyone who's trading this set. I haven't found anyone who even has this pin, but or at least I haven't seen it. There probably are people who have it. Yeah. So here we have the cake slices. We've opened this before, and we currently have Cinderella, Jasmine, Belle, Little Mermaid, Ariel, um, Snow White, and we are looking for Tiana still. So we have two boxes today. When we originally opened, we had four. I think we didn't get... We got five. Oh, no, we got we four. We got four because we got... And I had to trade for Jasmine. We had two Chase. Two of the Snow White. We had two of the glittery Snow White. And I had to trade and get Jasmine. That's what it was. Yes. Um, so I'm hoping one of these is Tiana. Um, if either of them or both of them are not Tiana, they are going on the trader board, so they will be available to you or anyone watching. Do you want to go first? 
Yeah. Ariel. Her name is Her name is Ariel. That's a pretty pin if you um, are looking for Ariel from this set. We're here. Jasmine. Oh. Oh, okay. Ariel. <laughs> Her name is Ariel. It was no, not a success. Not a success. Okay. All right, so we are still looking for Tiana from that series. If she's real and you have her, cool, let us know, because I don't think she's real. We have these two up for trade. They are looking for a Strawberry Baymax. We've got these two up for trade. They're looking for a slice of Tiana cake. And Cinderella's maybe up. We don't she know. may be up for trade. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be curious about our content, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Or off with your head. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment if you want. I'm also really curious, if you have bought any candles from Pixie Dust Apothecary, what's your favorite scent? Silencio Bruno? No, the best one is out. No, not out there. Topsy Turvy from Hunchback, which was a special edition, so you may not know that one. Morris is my other favorite. Oh, yeah. Morris, not only does Morris smell amazing, Morris has the best glitter out of any candle. Mm -hmm. With that, we wish you a golden afternoon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you can at least make polite conversation.